A couple of people had asked me what my personal thoughts were about passenger service returning to Scranton. I'll spare you my personal politics and stick to answering the question that was asked of me. Today, the Senate is back in session for what will be a pivotal month, especially on key parts of the Biden agenda. One of the biggest agenda items will be infrastructure. Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says the first vote could come as early as next week. And the key priority for the president is a major reimagining of what passenger rail will look like in the United States. MSNBC senior national correspondent Chris Jansen joins me now from a a newly revamped train hall in New York's Penn Station uh, with more on on what the future of rail could look like. And Chris, Amtrak, they put out this new map for what the future of train travel uh, in America could look like. Tell us a little bit more about what could be in store. Yeah, Craig, uh, supporters of Amtrak see a future that is modern and efficient, a lot like this new train station in Manhattan. If $66 billion in the infrastructure package actually does go to Amtrak, it would be the largest investment in passenger rail since the creation of Amtrak mainly for two things, upgrades in places where some of the infrastructure is more than 100 years old, but also service to fast-growing places where there is no Amtrak, no passenger rail, as many as 130 communities. Check it out. For more than 30 years, Chuck Walsh has been walking along these old commuter train tracks. I grew up with the railroad. That until 1970 brought riders from New York City through northern New Jersey to Scranton, Pennsylvania. There's an opportunity here for the future. He's worked for decades to bring this train line back. I think there's a lot of potential here for Amtrak. Now, so does Amtrak, as highways that replace trains turn into rush hour parking lots. People now realize that we just aren't going to pave our way out of congestion. At New York City's expansive new train station, Amtrak's president says money from the infrastructure bill can start transforming U.S. rail. An ambitious plan expanding service to 20 million more people, linking the biggest cities in Texas, major hubs across the southeast like Atlanta and Nashville, new Midwest connections including a 250-mile swath across Ohio and the heavily traveled Los Angeles to Las Vegas route. Those population centers, they have enough people and enough density to support passenger rail service, and we can connect those people efficiently to neighboring communities and cities if we have the investment to do it. Which brings us back to Scranton, hometown of President Biden, who famously commuted on Amtrak for three decades and where its mayor sees unprecedented economic opportunity. I knew people that worked in New York City and lived here in northeastern Pennsylvania pre-pandemic, but that has gone up massively since the pandemic. And then tourism, of course, right? In, we're here in the heart of the Poconos. Scranton has a brand new train terminal, too, in the shadow of a museum celebrating the golden age of rail, ready for its second coming. I think we really need to be looking not just to today, but to 50 years from now, and trying to make sure that we have the infrastructure that's going to sustain into the next generation. Critics say that rail, passenger rail, is not part of the future. It's a vestige of the past that will never make money. And in fact, that a nation in love with cars is not about to change its habits. But there's a whole new world out there. A lot of folks see it, how it's developed in Europe, believe that can happen here. And they're going to model some of these first dollars from what is here in the Northeast Corridor, where it is profitable and look for places where not only there are a lot of people and a lot of congestion, but also, like in Scranton, where folks who are local see economic opportunity. Craig? Yeah, I mean, high-speed rail in Europe, it's it's sort of like comparing the Jetsons to the Flintstones here when you look at ours. Uh, Chris Jansen, thank you so much. So, how do I feel about passenger service returning to Scranton? I'll believe that when I see it.